So let's talk about uh, RFK Jr. and the people who have paid the price of his stupidity and arrogance, like these folks who watched their son Brandon collapse at a football game August of 2022, and uh, he died of a malformed blood vessel in his brain. That's where RFK Jr. stepped in. Uh, they exploited the death. In the disinformation book, Died Suddenly, they put the kid on the cover, and then these people had to deal with anti-vax, anti-vax monsters who blamed them for giving their child the vaccine, because that's what killed him, right? And if you think that's bad, buckle up, because it gets worse. Take it away, Ali of Samoa, formerly known as Western Samoa. 2019, though, the country was in a public health crisis. The government of Samoa declared a measles epidemic in October of 2019. Most of the victims were children. In one family, two sisters and a brother were killed by the disease. The oldest was just three. In another family, two sisters-in-law, both lost sons, aged 14 months and six months, who died just two days apart. By December, almost 4,000 cases had been reported in a country of 200,000. And 55 people, mostly children under the age of four, had died. An international health effort was underway. The Samoan government even asked the U.S. CDC for help. By the time the Samoan government declared an end to the epidemic, 83 people had died. Again, most of them kids. Now, remember, we're talking about measles here, a disease that was almost eliminated worldwide thanks to safe effective and cheap vaccines. In fact, in 2013, 92% of infants in Samoa were receiving the measles, mumps, rubella, or MMR vaccine. And in the one year period from 2017 to 2018, it dropped down to about 40%. As the New York Times put it, Samoa was suddenly on a par with some of the poorest countries in Africa. What happened to send the rate so low in 2018 specifically? Well, a growing anti-vaccine movement found a story to rally around. That year, two infants died after getting the vaccine. They died because their nurses had made a fatal mistake in administering the shots. But those facts did not matter to Samoan anti-vaxxers. Instead of telling the truth, they claimed that the vaccine itself was responsible for the deaths. And they got help from a U.S.-based anti-vax group, Children's Health Defense, which took to Facebook to question the safety of the vaccines that those infants received. In the wake of those two deaths, Samoa's prime minister gave in to the anti-vaxxers and halted the country's measles vaccination drive in 2018. The founder of Children's Health Defense, a prominent American anti-vax activist, would later tell a Samoan newspaper that he had the prime minister's ear on the issue and that the island nation's leader had privately shared his doubts about the safety of immunizing the public. That activist, quote unquote, had become something of a celebrity in Samoa. He was honored as a guest of the prime minister. Who was this American anti-vaxxer who bragged after the epidemic about his sway with the Samoan leader? Actually, he's the reason why I'm telling you all this. I am the president of the United States. I am going to end the chronic disease epidemic in this country. Yes, that's Robert F. Kennedy Jr. RFK Jr., who heads the anti-vax Children's Health Defense Network, which has since been banned from Facebook and Instagram for spreading misinformation. RFK Jr., who in June 2019, along with his wife, actress Cheryl Hines, was a special guest of the Samoan Prime Minister at the country's Independence Day celebration. Weeks later, the epidemic of the unvaccinated was underway in Samoa. And as more children died that November, Kennedy sent the Samoan Prime Minister a letter a letter pressing him to investigate whether those children died not of measles, but ridiculously of exposure to the measles vaccine. He added, it is a regrettable possibility that these children are causalities of Merck's vaccine. He probably meant casualties. Either way, he didn't know what he was talking about. Actual physicians with actual experience have been quick to debunk RFK's letter, pointing out that there's no evidence for his claim that vaccinated kids shed the measles virus. In fact, we reached out to Kennedy's presidential campaign for comment this week on his vaccine misinformation in Samoa, and they doubled down. This is who RFK Jr. is. This is the brand he's running on. He'll deny he's anti-vaccine, and then he'll tell anti-vax crowd epidemics end. The thing that cured it was nutrition and clean water, not the vaccine. No, the thing that ended the epidemic got rates back above 90% in Samoa by the end of December 2019. But what does RFK Jr. care? As ignorance, misinformation, and conspiracy theories go mainstream, 
and get monetized. I could tell you how even his own family, with the name that he's traded on for years, has blasted his campaign to attack the institutions committed to reducing the tragedy of preventable infectious diseases. I could tell you how excited former Trump White House aide and pardoned felon Steve Bannon is about RFK's candidacy and its potential to tilt the 2024 election to Trump. But really, all you need to know about Robert F. Kennedy Jr., about his role in our public life, about his contribution to humanity, is encapsulated in the story of the measles epidemic that killed scores of children in Samoa in 2019. An epidemic not just of disease, but of misinformation and vaccine denial, fueled by a politically ambitious Kennedy kid with the ear of that country's leader. The next time you see RFK Jr. described just as a vaccine skeptic or a political maverick, Remember that that does not do justice to who this guy is. There are very horrible, deadly, real-world consequences to his vaccine stance. The consequences in Samoa were the needless deaths of more than 80 people, most of them kids. I mean, a mother having to watch her dying child suffer in pain? Does RFK Jr. give a damn? Who knows? But what we do know is that he's a proven public health threat. So let's never forget that. RFK Jr. is garbage.